Fox News reporter Howard Monroe is live along Kelly Drive in Philadelphia. So it's drying out there, Howard, but I know you saw some flooding earlier in the day. Well, Joe, you know, parts of this roadway that were flooded, they have since receded. Some people, they were out here risking it all. Others ended up stranded. Wouldn't recommend using 76 at all. Drivers forced to take it slow after heavy rains caused flash flooding on the Schuylkill Expressway in Gladwin. This whole mic. Yeah, this is right up against the door, y'all. This Eyewitness News viewer made it out, but drivers weren't so lucky in Chester County. I saw the rain stopped, and I said, you know what, it'll be fine. When I got halfway, then I realized the mistake I made. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> Bujar Kasemi forced to laugh because instead he said he'd cry after his Mercedes stalled while driving through floodwaters. Got up to here, that's where my filter is. Okay. But when you push it, water goes higher because the... Water flowing. Kasemi was driving on Dilworth Town Road in West Town Township when he drove through the floodwaters. The Chester Creek overflowed its banks. Street Road was also flooded out. You'd be better off with a small boat coming through parts of here. You can see over here on Dilworth Town Road, it's, it's up so high that it's hard for cars to get through. Now, we did put a call out to police. They warned it is never a good idea to drive through high water. However, again, the Schuylkill and Kelly Drive have both since dried out since this morning. But for now, live along Kelly Drive, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. That's important advice, Howard. Thank you for that report.